like a uh, sticky weird mouth. <laughs> because last time I had like a lot of problems trying to explain things. So hello everybody, mother. <sighs> Screw that. Hello everybody, welcome back from our let's play Billy Hunter on the Giant Egg. I am Hunter, the one who needs an introduction. And in the last part, we began trying to save Elder Oma Oma. And in this part, we actually have him in our hands. <sighs> well done, Millie. That's just the egg. That's it. The other was in. The other was sealed with him. But you aren't done yet. To break the seal, you must hatch this egg. Fit the other. Until you can't any get here, then use R to give it a rooster claw. If you should do that, the other should be able to break free. Alright, so that basically told us how to hatch an egg. Thankfully, I knew it was going to do it sometime eventually. And there's a hidden chicken coin there. Lucky honey son of a bitch. And there's another chicken coin there that we can get. Let's see if we can blast up this hill. Ah, uh, well, we can try. And to no futile attempt, we will do this and not bother trying to go slow down, slow down, slow down. Thank you. Alright, I thought you were going to roll up the edge there for a second, you silly idiot. I'm just going to flow you into a chicken's nest if did that. Also, my recollection, I think Elder Oma Oma has a... Ah, yes, that one runs me. If your egg is big enough, it'll sometimes roll over another egg and pop it. Which, for some reason, turns it into yolk. Yeah, well, actually, egg does contain yolk. Because yolk is the chicken embryo, after all. If you don't know that, then too late. I just ruined your childhood and you will never be able to eat eggs again! Yay! But yeah, long story short, it went until the, like, egg starts to, like, glow like this. And then hold R when you're away. And charge it up. And give it a call. And that opens the egg. Well, it's an elder Oma Oma. And when that happens, he'll do his crow. And it restores light to this area. Yay! It's like Mario Sunshine, except without Mario Sunshine being called this game. Anyway, so let's see. Is there... Okay, this door... Can it be opened at this current point in time? By the, looks of it, by the looks of it, I say no, it can't. But yeah, basically now that it's all sunshiny happiness, there's like other missions we can do here, which I think I'll be doing, for the sake of doing them. Because with the new 15 time limit on all... 1530 actually, because of YouTube's weird fetish of like doing another thing, adding another 30 seconds randomly. Oh yes, also the speckled eggs contain nothing, just wanted to let you know that. Yeah, with the new 15 time limit, I might even try some of the other missions they have, so... Anyways, so let's talk to this guy. Hi. Hi, hello. Thank you for serving me. I am Old Ma Oma, one of the chicken elders who calls the morning and runs for us village from us. And yes, I am giving them the Merlin voice. Your point? I was taken by surprise, and I was captured by the crows. They turned me into a golden egg. Hmm, yes. The other elders may have been captured by the crows and turned into golden eggs as well. Hmm, yes. Brella, you must save the elders and bring morning back to this world. Hmm, yes. This is an emblem of courage. It has been a tradition among us chickens to give this emblem as a symbol of bravery. There will come the time when you'll need it. Keep it safe. Hmm, yes. Alright. And anybody who's familiar with uh, the Sonic Adventure games will know that this emblem is basically your Sonic emblem. Basically, you have to collect a lot of these and they will be your reign. Like, jiggies, collectibles, stars, whatever you want to call it. For the game! So, yay! This is our first Billy with well, this chicken emblem. And with that, we have cleared the mission! Success! <laughs> yes. Alright. So now it's gonna rank us, like every normal Sonic Team game. New record! And give us a rank out of between E and D and, well, E, D, C, V, A. Just like every other Sonic Team game in existence, you know? And so yeah, basically all these Sonic Team games have this weird thing of ranking your thing and then they give you some kind of an emblem thing. I don't know, that's a weird running trend I just started to notice now. Alright, so logically you would think to go to the next stage. Unfortunately, we cannot do that just yet. So, despite my futile efforts to say otherwise, we're gonna have to do some of these missions. Actually, wait, don't we have to do all these missions anyways? Oh, well never mind, I guess we do have to do the first five missions. Oh, well, well, okay then. So, our second mission is defeat Aragiko. I think every level has a boss. I am not sure. 
Billy, you must hear me out. The other has been rescued, and money has been returned. But it is yet too early to put your guard down. The Quarles has sent their strongest bosses to each of the lands they changed tonight. Unless you defeat those bosses, two money cannot return to this world. In the middle of the forest, there is a web gate. Follow the dark gate, that will take you to the boss. That gate will take you to the crow, boss. Remember, Gecko? You must find the dark gate, and defeat the arrow, Gecko, and then put on him. Alright, so now with the. Anyways, and also for people who are wondering where the hell I'm getting that from, that it's from a. It's some uh, Saturday Night Included, so just. I don't let you know that. Anyway, so. With these little rail thingies, you can use an egg to roll on them. The bigger the egg, the harder it will be staying on this thing, I think. Or maybe it's vice versa. I have no idea. I can't bloody remember. I haven't played this game in eons, so... Don't, like, punish me if I say something the exact opposite of what it should be to this game. Because I have not played this game in a while. So, forgive me if I screw something up or something like that. Anyway, so, looks like there's gonna be some kill areas. Like in every normal game. Um, also these hills, they are gonna become your... Satan. Oh, chicken coin? Yes! Success, we got it. Alright. Oh, watch out for the... Spiky thingies. Yeah, watch out for the spiky thingies, by the way. If, if, if you don't know, that when you hit those spiky thingies, your egg will basically crack. And I think after you crack an egg three times, it'll break. And in the middle of a situation where you've got a big egg, I don't think you'll want that, so just be wary of that. Alright. And I think that's basically everything there is to explain up to this point. So now I can continue to play back in random net secretarial commentary. <laughs> and for some reason, the cross of this weirdly abstract fetish. And oh god, camera. Jeez, stupid camera. Jeez, man. Alright. Luckily, the camera is not your Satan. Ow. No, come on, roll down with me, egg. Roll down with me. Yay, there we go. Oh, oh my god, it has a slightly larger one. But I would charge kill. Because I can't. We got a speckled egg that I will not collect. Also, I think if it's a... Uh... Oh, wait. Not far enough yet. So, anyways, if you hatch an egg with a... Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, yes. You forgot. You get little dolly thingy power-ups, too. I think this one will allow you to, whenever you charge, you can basically spur all these dudes up into a tornado and own them, basically. Like this. So yeah, basically, when you open an egg, you can either get an animal partner or some kind of a thing for your little whatchamacallit on top of your head. I don't know what the hell that thing's called. Would somebody please mind telling me what the hell that thing on top of the chicken is? A rooster? I don't know. I think we're talking about roosters here. I don't think... If we're talking about, like... Did... This, like, this doesn't make any sense. Okay. If Billy is supposed to be wearing a chicken suit, how can he hatch eggs? Chickens can't hatch eggs, only roosters can hatch eggs. Well, oh, no, wait, I mean... Okay, what I meant to say was, chickens can hatch eggs, but roosters are the only ones who can crow. You know, go, 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 go. you know that. So, what sense does that make? If we're talking about chickens and being able to hatch eggs, then that would be a hen, but only roosters can caw. So, this really does not make any sense. It looks like you can't get the switch yet until you put the flames out. Animal friends! Yes, animal friends! And I just killed my animal friend! Ouch! Anyways, so let's see, where is that egg? There is an egg around here somewhere. Uh, I just lost my chance to do said thing, didn't I? Maybe? Maybe? Did I? Did I? Did I? Or is this this one over here too? Okay. Anyways, long story short, we gotta hatch an egg and get an animal friend to get rid of those flames for us. So we'll be able to do that in just a moment. And I think there is a partner... To, I think this is the egg. I'm not sure if this is the partner animal friend egg or not. But yeah, basically when it has a pattern on it, it'll have a different animal inside it. Depending on what the pattern is, you'll get to know these patterns later on through the game. You'll probably memorize them by the end. Also, this dude's a jerk. And I think his shock wears while I should crack your egg a little bit. So let's see. Give this a rooster call. And we get a butterfly, which serves as what now exactly? Random. All right. Oh wait, never mind. This is it. I remember this because it's icy looking and it's icy. It's it, it, it's icy looking, so therefore it does something related to ice. Yeah, I think this is the one we we'll want. I am pretty sure. I am. 
pretty sure that this is the one we'll want. So now let's try to get back there. Because I stupidly went all like all over the place randomly and decided to be dumb. And uh oh, okay, good, they recharge. Okay, just make sure. Alright. So let's see if we can hatch this puppy. Let's go. And we get our first animal friend, which is a penguin. Clippin'. Powers of water and life. Alright, so now with this buddy ball. Yeah, with animal friends, basically they have like special powers, so I think if you use your rooster call. Oh, oh no, you press the X button and then it uses them. And yeah, and then they do things like that. And they'll stick with you for the majority. Majority! That is until they somehow die. I don't know how they die. Nope. Like, stop rolling! Okay. So yeah, basically, animal friends do things and things and things and things and things. And okay, am I done explaining now? Because I, 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 I am kind of done with explaining. I, I don't want to explain anymore. You should figure this stuff out for yourself. And so now that we destroy the flames, we hit the switch, and we can activate the spring. Which will take us over here, and we get to the most tedious part of this game, which is actual platforming. Oh my god. Yes, there's actual platforming in this game, and let me tell you, it may seem easy now, but it gets much more evil later. You'll see what I mean when we get to the fire world. Because that's the most infamous world people say that they hate, and we stepped on a boss pad. And now we're being taken to the boss! Metal! Alright, and there's a loading screen, but we might not be cutting it because it's not like Sonic 06. For once. Even though this is a Sonic King game. Anyway, so this is our first boss, which is Edo Gecko! Edo Gecko! He's got the weirdest design ever. He don't even look like a gecko, no offense. I've seen my, I've seen lots of geckos in my time, let me tell you, they should not look like a gecko. Anyway, so for these bosses, you have a regular speckled egg to use to your will. And basically what you're gonna do is charge to this guy. Get in a big enough egg, of course. Oh, we want a big sucker. This is the biggest it's gonna get. So, anyways, if you can see, Eric Gecko is one stupid little idiot. I don't even know how you defeat these guys, but I'll figure it out eventually. Maybe Shockwave. The ha! Ah. Yeah, when he's small, I think is when you hit him. And when he's on the ground too, so let's just barrel through him a bunch of times. Oh, it looks like this guy's gonna take two full like combo section thingies to get rid of. So yeah, when he big, basically dodge all of his attacks. And when he's small, basically hit him. So let's see, basically what we should do is mow down the grass. So that we can see where the little sucker is going, like here. And then we run into him several times. Oh, looks like this guy's gonna take more than just the two combo hits, maybe like three or four. Oh no! Yeah, Shockwave's cracked the eggs, so... Gotta be careful of that. Also, when I think he does that thing that makes all the grass grow again, that's when he's gonna grow tiny. Yep. So, see if we can find him. And we hit him. Oh, okay, maybe one more. One more hit ought to do it. Oh, snap. I forgot I can do that. Now we run. Oh, egg, okay, pools. And I think he's about dead. Yep, there it goes, okay. That's a relief, because I was about to finish his recording. And after that long and androgynous thing of, yo, I am dying now for no reason. We get the egg we so long trot for. So let's collect the bloody thing, shall we? Alright. Get rid of it, you stupid egg. Alright, so we get a second chicken emblem! Man, two chicken emblems and one episode, man! What the heck is up with that, man? Mission declared! Alright, let's quickly go over the stats before I have to end up with this part where I'm running up at the time limit. Sort of... To the score, new record, and we get us. We get a B rank! Yes, a better rank than before. And we get an emblem added to our total! Awesome! Of course, a cutscene. And another loading screen. Come on, we want to finish this puppy up, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish it up. Alright. So, next time on Let's Play Billy Hutch, we're going to be talking to Oma Oma and seeing what the hell just happened there for some random explanatory reason. So, until then, see you later and goodbye.